I really felt like it was the alternative and possibly, if you don't mind me saying, the weird side of South Asian culture in Britain. Do you think what was the inspiration for it? Just badass brown women. <laughs> I really wanted to put together an eclectic mix of South Asian artists and DJs. And we had free reign. We were given a bit of a budget that we could just go out, pick who we wanted. We could use any of the spaces in the amazing museum. Hi, this is Silas from AsianCultureVulture.com. I'm with the amazing Mumtaz Begum Hussein, who you will have seen before, no doubt, <laughs> in one of our videos. Mumtaz, we're here at the Wallace Collection, fantastic museum in the heart of central London. Uh, tonight's a Diwali event which you've co-curated. So tell us a little bit about the museum and tonight, this evening, what's happening? Right. So the Wallace Collection is one of the most stunning museums there are in London. You can see all around you. It's actually free to come to this space and enjoy it with all these beautiful classic artworks. So three times a year they actually have a lake that's sponsored by Morgan Stanley this year. So they had two previously in the year. Over the third and final one they wanted to do a Diwali event. Wow. And so about six months ago they invited me to curate um, half the event and Bishy to create it, uh, create it as well. And we had free reign. We were given a bit of a budget that we could just go out pick we wanted, we could use any of the spaces in the amazing museum, so from then on it was just right, what can we do and who do we want to get involved? So you've got a fantastic range of artists, yep. from music to art to um, all kinds of performance type things. Um, tell us a little bit about that kind of headline act tonight. Yep. So we chose Talvin Singh to be our headliner. Um, we really think he sort of mixes and fuses the kind of contemporary nature of what he does with the historic nature of this building. Um, but Talvin, in a very intimate setting, he's asked the audience to sit on the floor, okay. which is going to be him, a bit of an acoustic set inside what is called the Great Gallery. Absolutely beautiful, red room filled with paintings, a really sort of special. When he performs normally, he performs with a really big band, but this was really about him, it's about the percussion, it's about the sound, and having that in the space. So Bishi is your co-curator, yep. so tell us a little bit about Bishi and how you've worked together. Yep. So Bishi has been a multimedia performer. She fuses a lot of tech with what she does. And she's been doing this for well over a decade. She's like one of the pioneers of British Asian music in the tech scene as well as a curator herself. So before we wrap up, I have to ask you about your fantastic yes. outfit. So <laughs> tell us a little bit how you put this together yourself. Well, you might not be able to tell, Silas, but I am actually wearing a sari, but I've right. styled it okay. differently, As unexpected. Always, yes. um, it's actually a sari I made myself. If you look closely, there are bats on it. And oh. Taj Mahal as well. Oh, and, right. and so it's been designed by me. Oh. And uh, I love fashion, I love clothes, I love colour. And the colour. accessories so, here. Yeah, you know, I just sort of made yourself. curated my own look as well. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you very Thank much. You. I think my passion, both as an artist and as a curator, is to open people's minds and to introduce them to things that they wouldn't ordinarily um, go to or experience themselves. Um, I think the way that I've curated my part of the programme is a reflection of my own tastes, but my beliefs in trying to include people into different angles of society. And you performed this evening, so how was that, having the responsibility of obviously organising and also performing yourself, which is a big thing? Well, it's running a marathon, uh, but as an independent artist, um, not only do I produce all of my musical uh, variety, I produce the stage shows, I curate the platforms and I'm very much um, an all-in-one independent <laughs> powerhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. powerhouse, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's really fun because all of my connections are meaningful, um, everything I do is done with great respect and I couldn't do it without the love and dedication of the artists around me. Yeah. This event tonight kind of operated on two levels. On one side, it was high art, it's the Wallace Collection, it was an absolutely majestic setting, beautiful um, and really special for Diwali as well. But on another level, even though you had South Asian artists involved, I really felt like it was the alternative and possibly, if you don't mind me saying, the weird side of South Asian culture in Britain. You had Bishi playing. Four, six, one, two. She's like some medieval, trip-hop, psychedelic, electronic guitar playing 
version of Cleopatra. And I mean, that's just the, the introduction, all right? So she was amazing. Then on top of that, you also had uh, Miss Mohammed. Both artists, Miss Mohammed and Bishi, I've been supporting on my BBC show. And Miss Mohammed's just like everything that I'm about. Everything I've been waiting for. I love guitar music, I love rock music, I love, I love people who smash patriarchy, and she's doing all of that in one song. So for Bishi and Miss Mohammed to be here tonight was just beautiful for me. To, be able to DJ, just almost soundtrack these amazing live performers alongside Nerm from the Shiva Sound System and Rita Loy from Gay Asians. It just really felt like the alternative side of the Asian equation coming through again and grabbing people by their you know what's. <laughs> and is that really what you're passionate about these days? The new kind of new music that's coming through and a different sound to perhaps what we've been used to? I play so many anthems on my BBC show and I play a lot of mainstream stuff, Bhangra, uh, a lot of the hip hop that's coming out right now, even a bit of Bollywood. But one thing I'll always focus on is the fringes, the abstractions, the, the real creatives around the edges of, of that whole musical scene. And tonight was a celebration of that. Talvin Singh playing live. On top of that, with Miss Mohammed and, 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 and Bishi, uh, I just really feel like tonight was a celebration of the alternative and one thing I'll always do on the BBC is give an open door and speaker space to the alternative because we always need to know what's happening on the fringes. I studied fine arts in university and I saw too much white skin so from there on I wanted to just paint brown skin on canvases. I see. And so, this particular painting, what was the inspiration for it? Just badass brown woman. <laughs> and um, is that really, is that an expression of you? Maybe, slightly. Okay. I do the same eyeliner. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and is that what you, you know, your audience, do you think they, that Um, I know it's kind of selfish to say, but I never thought about the audience. Right. I just always thought about what I about wanted your, to see. About your, yeah, your yeah. expression. Yeah. yeah, I know I'm super light skinned, but I represent the Browns. I love you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, this is the kind of um, your kind of art, artistic expression, you know. Your I like to think so. Yeah, and the way you <laughs> connect with, I suppose, connect with people um, right from. Again, I don't know how I connect with people, but my whole mission and my whole life has always been to like represent brown people on canvases in terms of artwork so and have you been i hope i'm doing yeah. the mission well have you been taken aback by the level of following you have and the kind of interest that uh, i live under a rock to be honest right so i don't know the following i have i don't know how many people well like you look you're, you're me, here from so. canada you know you have people who know you here in the uk and you're, you're going to India surely, so there's another audience there. Oh, so, you're complimenting me you know, so much. You know, you're just, you're connecting all these people, all these Thank people you. who No, I appreciate it. No, I know I suck at replying back to emails and text messages, but I love everyone who follows me, and I think, like, it has taken me back. I think the, um, but again, it's just, like, goes back to, like, the world needs more of this. The world needs more paintings with brown people on it, with more brown faces. It sucks I'm a woman, but... And what, we'll what, get what, what's your next big project? What, what is your um, mind? I don't think I ever have a next right. big project. It's always about brown women okay. and just <laughs> painting more brown women. <laughs> okay, great.